Hello world. I thought I'd do a quick catch up. I've been doing some glazing recently and I thought I'd show you a quick selection of the different glazes and finishes that I've got. This first one is sigged on the bottom and at the top it's a let me think seven and a half percent iron oxide and probably about the same manganese dioxide um, which gives a really deep brown colour. If I take this off you'll see the next one. It might give you a better example. This is one of my little animal you may have seen one of these before. Turn again with the brown. In this case it's got a little lizard on it. Let me see if I'm going to slow that down a bit. There you go, you can see it now. You can see how dark it is, it works quite well. This is a lamp based thing. But if we can get zoomed in for them. It's good zoom, isn't it? Move the rods towards the camera. The pencil, isn't it? There you go. But when you put the glaze over the top, of a black wash, which is what this is. So in other words, I've done an iron oxide manganese with a little tiny bit of my clay wash over the surface of the pot um, and that's gone in for a first firing and then it's glazed over again with that last brown glaze and you can see the difference it's a very very dark colour you can see that it's got some interesting sort of structures of the glaze, it's almost greeny bluey and interesting just because of the black underneath so. next what I did I took that idea And then did a splash over the top. Down a bit. I don't know if you can see if I move this around. It's gone quite volcanic. It's really quite interesting. What that is is a white base glaze with get my brain in gear seven and a half percent iron oxide, which gives it that amber yellow tint anyway. But when it's splashed over the top of the other glaze, you can see it works. It's kind of interesting. Let me show you another one of those. If you can see where I'd scratched into the surface, actually sat down into it as well, which is quite interesting. Basically, most of these ginger jars were rejects which I had lying around, which had the black wash and had been through a firing. And I'd wanted a matte surface, and the black just hadn't worked properly. And the scraffito work I'd done, I'd done too late and it had obscured slightly in the firing because the firing contracts the lines that you make and if you don't do it whilst the black is still quite wet when you do it later then the vase is already contracted because it's dried out if that makes sense so yeah I just uh, plonked this glaze on top and got the volcanic and everything all over and it works really well so, so I thought I'd share that with you and finally I took that base glaze and I added some more manganese 
and a little copper oxide to it and this is what you get I don't know if you can see that here move it around it's that blue of mine again but it's really turned quite interesting in places it's gone sort of a green and a blue and almost black and you can see I've done the same splash but even the splash has changed So there you are. I thought I'd spend some time having a catch up with you. So that's what I've been doing the last two weeks doing some glazing. Hope you've enjoyed.